What? Hey everybody, welcome back to Ace Attorney. Welcome back. Whoa, it's my keyboard's far away. Case number two. Case number two. So excited. It's something about a, another turnabout sisters or something. I don't know. Oh. But it says bring, bring. Is it bring, bring? Yeah, you can do it better. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is the stuff that we skipped so fast through and last time. And it took time. so long. Oh. Okay, should I be Maya? Uh, sure. Okay. Hello? This is Maya. Oh, nope. I'll be Maya. Okay. This is Mia from the so last Mia. one. Mia. Oh, she was the chief? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Maya. It's me. Mia! What's up? You haven't called in a while. Sorry. I've been bit. I've been so busy. What? Turnabout Sisters. That's what it's called. Oh, okay. So I think they're sisters. Maya and Mia are sisters! Yay! Sorry. I've been so busy. How have you been? Well, lonely! And it's all your fault. Nah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you? Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I gotcha. So what is it this time? It's... A clock. The Thinker. A clock? Yeah, it's made to look like that statue, The Thinker. And it tells you the time. So weird. I thought you might like it. You always like toys. Hey, I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. That's now, realistic. now. You only, you know I'm only teasing. <laughs> if Rachel came up to you and said something like that, would you be like, who replaced you? I would be like, uh, uh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, I should probably tell you. The clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame! I had to take the clock work out. Sorry. Okay. okay. I put some papers inside it instead. Uh, this is shady. Papers? Is that the evidence then? Hmm. Well, there's a possibility that it might turn out that way, yes. Can you come by the office tonight, say 9 o'clock, to pick it up? I feel like that was supposed to be your line. <laughs> I'll be in pre-trial meeting until then. Okay, sis, but I expect dinner. Something good. I'll bring you Chinese. Like burgers. Okay. I could really go for a good burger. I can always go for a good burger. <laughs> it is such a good thing. <laughs> Did that surprise you? <laughs> no, I was going to say, I know you like burgers. It was just the severity with the pencil. I'm like, I can always go for a good burger. I can. I will kill for a good burger <laughs> you can right now. I will for a burger. <laughs> okay, okay. We'll hit the usual joint. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's a deal. Okay, sis. See you soon. Bye, sis. Bye, sis. <laughs> yep, I'll be waiting, Maya. And then Maya dies. <laughs> Conversation recorded September fifth, nine twenty-seven a.m. This shouldn't be a funny. <laughs> September 5th, 8.57 p.m. Fay & Co. Law Offices. <laughs> now, Miss Fay, I'll take what's mine. The papers. <gasps> that's you. No, that's me. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Fay, you are a poor liar. Why, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker <gasps> that swallowed those papers. How Swall could you know? Oh, ho, ho. you are not con coniferous of my background. Coniferous? I, I saw coniferous, so I was like, are you a tree? And then, <laughs> I, you're probably right. It's probably coniferous. Cogniferous? 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 Cogniferous. I don't know. Cogniferous. <laughs> I don't know. Gathering information is my business, you see. You turned into a thug. I did. I, I should have been more careful. Oh, my dear Miss Faye. Am I Tina? I am so very sorry. I'm Mia Faye. But I am afraid I must ask you for one more thing. I was just about to say your life, your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Faye. Do I die? <gasps> oh my gosh! With the same murder weapon? Who is 
is this man? Red, white, blue. September 5th. <laughs> Go ahead. 9.08 p.m. Bay and Coat Law Offices. I don't think Mia was the chief. She was. Okay. Yeah, she was. Mia was the chief. You saw the necklace, right? Yeah, I did. It's that same thing. Okay. I'm, like, I'm pretty sure. No, you're probably right. Uh-oh, I'm late. Huh, that's strange. Guess the chief left without me. Are we about to find her body? She said her sister was coming over, so we should all go out for dinner. What's that smell? Blood? <gasps> Mia! Aww. Maybe she's in her office! No examine. Oh. What, what, what are we looking at? I don't know. I smell blood, and that can't be good. I have to check and see if Mia, the chief's okay! Okay, oh, so okay. it's just... Okay. So I guess move on? I don't understand. So move then, okay. Cause it's not here. Move to oh. the, okay. I have never played a game with a mechanic like that, sorry. I'm just holding my water bottle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been holding it here this whole time, just like holding it. It's so <laughs> weird. That smell, blood! Oh, this is sad. Someone's there! Oh! <gasps> Chief? Chief? Chief! That's so sad. Oh. Who are you? Mm. What? Did she run out and slam the door? I hope. Strange girl dropped out cold. Oh. I left her lying on the office sofa. I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Why are we all of a sudden blonde? That's what I'm not getting. It's the light. It's not. She's not blonde. It's just shining in the window. I think. I get it, but it's it does like look blonde. blonde. You are correct. Ugh, okay, sorry. Her body was still warm. I could feel it when I held her shoulder. Mm -hmm. I don't love this drawing. <laughs> <laughs> then, all too quickly, it began to fade. Until finally she was cold. Oof. That's so sad. Chief. Oh, uh, highlights yellow. It's hard seeing her like this, but if there are any clues here, she was struck on the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantly. The thinker lying next to her must have been the murder weapon. The thinker added to the court record. Okay. Hmm. There are some glass shards near the chief's body. Ah. Oh. Must be pieces of the glass light standing. Glass light stand lying broken in the back of the room. Broken remains of a glass light stand. Very broken beyond all recognition. Okay. Nothing else that seems like a clue here. Mm hmm. A piece of paper. It must have fallen from Mia's hand. What could it be? Was it inside the It lamp? says Maya. Whoa. Maya! That's just like so... Bloody looking. Yeah. <laughs> and yes, you're right. It turns yellow. Thank you. A word is written in blood on this scrap of paper. This is just like what happens in... Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets? I mean, that's true. <laughs> what you but no, say? there's another game that at some point I think we should play, which is called Danganronpa. Okay. I might be saying that really overpronounced, but... In the first case that's in that, there's like a person lying on the floor, sitting up like that, with something written in blood. Like, there's a whole thing. Um, Sag. Maya? Did Mia write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from a department store, dated yesterday. A department store receipt with letters, yeah, okay. I think that's enough snooping around for now. I'd better call the police and find out what that girl was doing here. Uh, that's the sister, Can you isn't not? It? Yeah, I was gonna say, can you not, like, context clues this? It's encrusted with dried blood. How ironic that this became the murder weapon. Again. Oh, yikes. Oh, the glass? I guess. Some shards of glass are scattered on the floor. They seem to be the remains. 
I just want, I'm just trying to go over everything that lights up. Yeah, for sure. Chair! The chief's chair. A simple, functional design. Feels pretty good to sit in, too. Okay, that was the most unnecessary thing in this situation. No, that might be important later, maybe. Maybe. There's a large building right across from the office. The Gatewater Hotel. A nice, luxurious place. Watergate scandal! I was just about to say that. <laughs> this game is full of so many small things like that. It's painful to look, but I have to, for Mia's sake. Looks like she was- okay, I- she probably died instantly. Poor thing. That seems to be everything. Okay. Okay. She- because the girl was on the couch. Okay. <gasps> that girl just now! Where'd she go? She left the couch! I put her right there on that sofa! Ruh -roh. Uh oh! I hope she didn't run on me! She may have, sir. Oh, there she is. Yipes! <laughs> Yipes! Don't scare me like that! Yipes! <laughs> um... Excuse me, but who are you? Sister. Mia. Maya. It's okay, I work here. Maya... Maya Faye. Maya Faye? Maya? So Mia was writing this girl's name. Maybe I should show her the receipt? I never thought there'd be a use for evidence like this outside the courtroom. Uh, should we present her the receipt? I want to talk to her first. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they're sis sisters. So, you're the chief's... Sister. I'm her younger sister. And you were here, visiting? This late at night? Yes. She said she wanted me to keep some evidence for her. Evidence? Yes, it was that clock. It was the th oh frick. <laughs> it was the thinker. What happened? She seems to be in shock. I don't want to disturb her, but I have to know. Um, excuse me. Can you tell me what happened? Mm. I came in. The room was dark, and sis, sis. So she was already dead. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. She wrote it on the back of this receipt. <gasps> Th that's my name! Yes! Why? Why would she write my name? Please, just calm down. Oh. Why would sis write my name? Uh oh. Now I've done it. Maybe look at the receipt. I'd better hurry up and call the police. <sighs> oh. Oh, okay. I was like, there's no phone there. The reception desk. I usually sit here. Okay, that's it. That's it to know, I guess. We're the a receptionist. Small, a small writing desk cluttered with office supplies. You couldn't cram more legal books in here, even if you wanted to. Few can gaze upon the shelves without feeling insignificant. This sofa is for clients. It's leather, a real luxury model. A large painting. I guess you'd call this modern art. <laughs> I, on the other hand, call it a mistake. Most people would call modern art that, but they just don't get it. <laughs> the door to the chief's office. It's slightly open. I'd better not touch the doorknob. Okay. Smart. Don't tamper with the evidence. Fingerprints. Okay. I, mean, I guess that's it. Go back to the office? Okay. So now I'm going to examine and use the phone, but first I'm going to look at everything. The Fane Co. Ledger book. Everything is written in the chief's ultra-neat handwriting. It's a small office, but it makes a good bit of money. A polyphone? Yeah, I didn't mean to click that, bud. Surprisingly, the chief was never good with machines. <laughs> About all she used this PC for was email. She picked up this ancient model at some garage sale for practically nothing. <laughs> I mean, why not? Uh, when was this game made? 2011? Okay. All the chief's important documents are packed in here. 
This is where she filed her case records and recent rulings. Yeah, You're do probably it. right, but I just want to know for sure. Right! I'd better call the police! Huh? That's funny, was the line cut. A few of the screws on the receiver are missing. 2012. Okay, a cool. few receive A few screws on the receiver are missing? Yeah. It looks like someone was halfway through taking it apart. Are we talking about the phone? <gasps> police? Please, come quick! What, what was that? Uh-oh. Someone screaming from outside the window? <gasps> oh. Hello, lady. She's staring right at me. She's holding a phone in her hand. On a cord. Yeah. Where did this happen? At the window? I guess. Phoenix, call the police first. Does it not work? I better not use it. Oh, okay. I wonder if they used the screws for something, or if they were using the phone for something that required it to not have screws. I don't know. Yeah. Spend big on stuff the clients use, but keep your own stuff simple. That's cool. That's a you don't have any. standard office-y thing to say, to be honest. Yeah. It's like, stuff in the client's area? Absolutely use a lot of big bucks looking stuff. Your own stuff? Nah. You wanna be our ambulance? Perfect. Wee oh wee oh wee oh wee oh. <laughs> there were four. I did four. Thank you, I needed that. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, the police! Sounds like they're coming this way. Dun, dun, dun. Ah! Freeze, police! Now we're suspects. You wanna be, you wanna be dick gumshoe? Sure, why not? Do I have to, <laughs> do I sound like that? You can try. Okay. Or you can do something completely different. All right, I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe, see? That's perfect. <laughs> gumshoe? What an odd name. Gumshoe is a name for a detective, isn't it? Is it? Like you're a gumshoe? I don't know. Yeah, it's... Uh, yes, I'm going to look it up. Hit enter. <laughs> we received a report from the building across the way, see? Got a person saying they saw a murder. <gasps> it must have been the woman I saw. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving one inch, okay? I got you. Around the turn of the 20th century, to, to gumshoe meant to sneak around. Huh. And by 1906, it became a, mo a common nickname for plainclothes detectives. Okay. Or private eyes. I guess it makes sense. I don't know. Mm. Gum on your shoe, I think, would make you seem more noticeable. Right. You'd be, like, sticking and You're like pulling up foot. and everything. Yeah. <laughs> great. Just great. Maya. Wait, she wouldn't have... Nah. Whoa! <laughs> Excuse me. Eek! This word Maya here mean anything to you? Eh. Um, that. That's my name. What? <laughs> the victim drew this here note in her own blood, see? With her dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. That ain't it. Killer? I'm not- Case closed! You're coming down to the precinct, ma'am. Ah! <laughs> well, what? This is not good for you, Maya. This is bad. This, this is, is pretty bad. bad. This is- ah! This is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Mia's younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. Oh, Phoenix. My eyes were heavy. My knees were weak. Hands sweaty, mom spaghetti. Mom spaghetti. <laughs> what I wish I'd had for dinner, but I was at the precinct. <laughs> but I couldn't sleep. I sat around waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. Aww. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. That's sad. Hmm. September 6, 9:07 a.m. Detention Dead. center visitors room. <laughs> well, they have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. It's you, the lawyer. Good morning. The lawyer now. Good morning. She looks so tired. This poor thing. Um, are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Of course. I would say of course. Right. First things first, I better get her cheered up. Make me laugh. 
<laughs> Do some stand-up. Yeah, of course I will. Cheer up! That works. R really? Whoa, did I say the wrong thing? She looks sadder now. Um, wh what's wrong? You don't think I can do it? Mm, no, no one could. Who would believe me? Even you, when you found me in the office. You looked like you looked at me like I had done it. No, I just didn't know. Did I look at her like that? No. That frame is sad. <laughs> no, no, I never thought. It's okay. I understand. And I've also heard about you. Heard? Heard what about me? I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. She liked you. She did. Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How'd that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. It's been a while. Ha! <laughs> so he crashed and burned? He's a genius. One of those strike fear into the hearts of evil types? That's... I don't know if I'd call us that. I don't... I think we floundered a little bit there, Mia. I think we're tenacious, but you know. This is the only thing... I'm sorry. The only thing he's lacking is experience. Okay, valid. Huh. Sounds like it was fun. Well, I know who to go to if I ever get in tr into trouble now. Well. Uh. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. Well, we don't got that kind of time. You've got now. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. Oof. Oh, Oof. Mia. Oh, so what are we gonna say? That's what she said! <laughs> That's what she said. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry! I didn't mean to insult you! No, it's okay. It's true, I guess. Mm. But at the same time, I can't just sit by and watch when I think of the person who did this to Mia. I know. Examine? What can we examine in here? She's always under observation. Smile for the camera. Mm -hmm. The officer? That's what I was gonna do next. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that's what it looks like. So like <laughs> Gosh, I can't believe I have to be here today. I'm mm. supposed to be out working for my kid's birthday. I have to get him a present. <laughs> like, he just looks upset. <laughs> He's just scowling at He's the like, wall. Mm, don't be here. He sucks. I'm on a different job. I'm supposed to be a musician. <laughs> <laughs> That comes so out of left field for a security guard in a prison. <laughs> or is that so funny? Play the cello was such a good thing in high school, and now I'm stuck here watching these imbeciles. Never. <laughs> <laughs> I feel sad for all of you musicians out there who are working in a jail. I'm sorry. <laughs> that that bit goes out to all prison guards who used to who wanted to be musicians. We love you. <laughs> this guard monitors the visitors' room. I think I just hit the wrong way. He hasn't moved an inch. A real pro, this guy. I'm supposed to play the cello. When you play the cello, you don't move a lot, okay? I'm really good standing still. You move a lot when you play the cello, ma'am. <laughs> Choose at least a clarinet. <laughs> Look, I'm not saying I was good. I'm saying it was my dream. <laughs> this episode is dedicated to all failed musicians. <laughs> to all cellists out there. Okay, I think that's it. Mm -hmm. Uh... Can I present anything? I don't think so. I mean, I she knows all of this. No. No? I wanted to ask you about the murder weapon. Mm. Poor sis. Hmm. Better not ask her about this now. Okay, cool. Okay. Later. But I wanted her to- because she knew what it was. Like, right. she knew that that's what she was coming to pick up. You know right, what I mean? Yeah. September 6th, <laughs> my and go law offices. <laughs> That's the voice that I did for Metaton in Undertale. It is. Sure. Someone right. asked me the other day, they're like, have you ever played Undertale? I was like, yes! It's and on let me channel. tell you. One of our best viewed shorts to this day is back when we were talking from about Sans. it. Sans. Who was going to pay for the date. Yeah. <laughs> hey, go watch Undertale. Uh, the office is filled with police officers. They're all busily searching for clues. Hey! hey! You there! <laughs> Oh, this is you. a crime scene, pal. No trespassing. Um, sorry, don't I know you from somewhere? He's got such fun faces. Mm -hmm. Wait, you're that butts guy, aren't ya? Not really a butt man. <laughs> um, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Phoenix Wright. 
How could anyone mistake me for Larry? She worked his case. Ah, guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. Is this not Gumshoe? Because his name's not coming up. No, I know. They did the same thing with Maya for a while after we knew her name. Okay. That butts guy, he was a killer. And you're no killer, right? He was proven innocent. Yeah. Um, right. And you were... Detective Gumshoe. Oh, they wanted to see if we remembered. Mm. Um, Gumshoe, wasn't it? Dick Gumshoe? <laughs> Right. At your service. Hang on, that's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Oh, well. Anyway, get the name right. And don't go calling me Dick. Hey, Dick! Get over here! <laughs> y yes sir! B be right there! <laughs> um... <clears throat> You're her lawyer, right, pal? I like him. If you got business here, you better do it quick. Oh, he thinks I'm Maya's lawyer. I, are we not? Way. No, we are. <laughs> but, like, nobody else knows. Yeah. Mia's desk. Perfectly clean, as always. The only thing it's missing is Mia. Oh, Mia! Mia! Okay, sorry. <laughs> Mia's favorite potted plant. Definitely not just the only one that exists. Why did you shout Mia? Because he was like, the only thing missing is Mia! Okay. Just in grief. Grief. I don't know. Mia! Yeah, like, <laughs> Adrian! <laughs> okay. Okay. That wasn't grief. That was excitement. Was excitement. He won the match. I know. <laughs> but it's Sylvester Stallone who said it, so everything sounds like he's grieving and Mia! Deeply. <laughs> I remember it had this bizarre name no one can ever remember. Do you know what plant that is? Uh... Cordeline Stricta, pal! I could have asked my flower friend. Who was that? <laughs> Who was that? The painting. An old movie poster. Apparently, this was the first movie that made Mia cry when she saw it. Uh... I'll have to check it out one of these days. A Land, a land Before Time. <laughs> that movie made me Marley cry. Marley and me. <laughs> oh! Yeah. There's a horrendous amount of legal books here. Scarier still is that Mia probably read all of these. Oh, maybe Bambi. Ooh. It was the mom dying trope that got me. Yeah. The sky is blue and so am I. <laughs> There's that hotel right across the way. Excuse me, Phoenix. The sky is blue and so am I. If you're a bird, I'm a bird. Have you ever have you ever seen that uh, post that's like... <laughs> it's like... English teacher. Now, why did he say that the curtains were blue? It was to reflect his immense sadness during this period of his life. And then it's like, the writer. Curtains were just freaking blue, man. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Can we move? Can we go somewhere else? Oh, Mia. talking about... Let's do Maya first. Okay. Um, about Maya. Sorry. That was not you. Uh, Maya? The dead one. No, that's Mia. Maya's the culprit. Oh, up. Okay. Yeah. Maya's the sister. Mia. Maya's the sister. Mi Mia. Yeah. No. Oh. Okay. I know. <laughs> so wait, Maya's dead. M I is you. M A is me. So Mia's dead. Mia is dead. Maya's locked Maya up. Maya is alive. <laughs> <laughs> this is reminding me of Tia and Tamara Maori from Twitches. Tia and Tamara. Yeah, and their show. Yeah. But yeah, this reminded me of that. Okay. Sister, sister. Gumshoe says. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like seeing you're like gumshoe says. <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't link back in. Segway. <laughs> I'm not a professional. Smooth as silk. <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm sorry. Gumshoe says sorry, pal. Oh. <laughs> but this is one trial you aren't gonna win. Why do you say that? You pessimist. The city's put Prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. Ruh-ro! Edgeworth! I'm sure you know what that means, you being a lawyer and all. This is the only character that I know from this game. Really? Is Edgeworth. I know, who he, I know who he is. Okay. Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Sorry, I hit my tooth. Oh, sorry. Wait, you do know him, don't you? Of course! I know him. He's a feared prosecutor. 
He doesn't feel pain. He doesn't feel remorse. Oof. He won't stop until he gets his guilty verdict. Remorse. <laughs> oh, don't talk about him that way. You make him sound barely human. Still, I'm afraid this pretty much decides the case. So, Edgeworth is on this one. Mm. He hasn't lost a case since he became prosecutor at the incredibly young age of 20. <gasps> of course, there are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. Ooh. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. My second case, wow. Yeah. About Miss Fay, did you do an autopsy? Hmm? You want to know the results, eh? Now, don't you look at me like that, pal. Why does he look sad? Because he wants to tell us. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. All right, all right. You can see the report, but that's all. I'm a lawyer on the case. 9 p.m. Single blunt force trauma. Death was instantaneous. Man. That is... A that's strong, a hard hit. Yeah, that's strong and that's hard. Right to the temple. Yeah. Like, not even to knock out, to, like, kill somebody. No. Dang, that's rough, buddy. No, we've already been there. Yeah, but I think that's the only place we can go. Okay, yeah, you're right. Or is there something that I have to show to him? I don't think so. No, I don't think it matters for him. Oh, yeah. Sorry. But... Yeah, I think that we're gonna end there for this time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We've gathered a lot of evidence. We have a crime. A very sad crime. We've lost our dear friend and chief and mentor, Mia. All right, But Mia. we will represent her sister and make sure that she does not go to jail. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are liking Ace Attorney, because it's a lot of fun. Um, if you did, please leave a like on this video and please comment your favorite part or what you look forward to seeing without spoilers. Without spoilers, no spoilers, because none of we don't know anything. Oh. But uh, if you enjoy it, please subscribe to the channel so you can see stuff whenever we upload it, and ring the bell to be notified every time we upload, so you can be right on time. But we'll see you guys next time. Bye.